I know who killed Miranda and Janice. <sighs> who killed them? I did. Hannah, why did you do it? I didn't know what I was thinking. But it doesn't make any sense. My investigation shows that John did it. John was right the whole time. He had nothing to do with their deaths. It was all me. I killed them. Then how do you explain the letter that John wrote to Miranda the day before she died? John signed it specifically. I have the letter here to prove it. You don't know the whole story. John and I both own the Starbucks around the corner. I wrote the letter asking Miranda why she never showed up for work, not John. However, John did sign it. Miranda never replied. John got upset, but I was more angry. So I went to Miranda's apartment the next morning and killed her. And I'm assuming John congratulated you. No. Mitchell, I'm telling you. John didn't do anything. You are lying to my face, Hannah. You are under arrest for obstruction of justice and possible murder of Janice Johnson and Miranda Stalbeck. Report to your cell immediately. Your court trial begins tomorrow. Are you happy now? I am charged with obstruction of justice and murder one. John, there is a possibility I could die very soon. Cool. Now that you are charged, I can't save you. Preston is a small town. Everybody already knows about Miranda and Janice's deaths. Now they will soon know that you killed them. Do you want to die so early in your life? You know I dot baby. But why did you tell me to cover for you? I know who the real killer is. I just never told Mitchell. At least you didn't do that. Hannah, I love you. But now that you are charged, nobody can save you. The Preston police are extremely tough around here. So what can I do? You have two choices. Both of which, unfortunately, involve death. Please, go talk to Mitchell. Do you have any idea of how much of a jerk he is? Hannah, you are out of your mind. The moment Mitchell sees my face, he will either kill me or arrest me. You have got to learn how to play the game right. Ever since you killed Janice, Mitchell has been staring down my neck waiting for the chance to find me guilty of something. I am sick and tired of all of this. You have gotten us both into this mess. And now, there's no way of how we can get out of it. I'm late for work. Meet me at the shop at 3.30, since you are off today. Go ahead and run your errands, then we will talk more. I'm sorry, baby. It just feels like I'm on the verge of hell. <laughs> it's okay, baby. I'm not mad at you. I'm just too frustrated as well as you are. I'll see you at 3.30. Okay. That lying idiot. I can't wait for the trial tomorrow. Come in. Miranda, I thought you were. Yes, it's true. I am dead. How are you here? I'm alive and you, babe. You seem to have not been yourself recently. How can I forget you, baby? You still look beautiful. Thank you. I've really missed you. I've missed you too. I love you too. Oh, Miranda. <laughs> you too, Janice. Yes, I am dead as well. But it's like Miranda said, 
I'm alive in you. We both are alive inside of you, and we will never forget you. I wish you both hadn't died. Mitchell, we will still be here for you. It seems like you can't go on without the both of us. I can't. It's too hard without you and Miranda. Why did you have to die? Listen, you know there comes a time in everyone's life where that person has to die. But you and Miranda never deserve death so quickly. That may be true, but you have to be strong. Be the officer that mom and dad wanted you to be. I'm trying as hard as I can. Keep investigating. You will find something. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Three thirty. Just as you said. Thanks for being here. It's very important. What is it? You said that you were charged with obstruction of justice and murder one. Since I can't save you, I've been thinking about how we can get out of this mess. But you said it yourself. We can't get out of this. You said it was too late and that nobody could save me. Alright, but I have been thinking. And there is a way. It will be very risky. What's the plan? The only way of how we can get our way out is to outsmart the Preston Police Department. And how do you suppose we do that? You said the Preston PD is very tough around here. I never said they were smart. There is one last person we have to get rid of, and he is the smartest person in the entire department. You don't mean... Yes, babe. We have to kill Mitchell. Do you think it will work? Trust me, Hannah. I know what I'm doing. This will be our best plan yet. Mitchell is about to go from the smartest cop to the next victim. <laughs> I don't get it. All of this evidence points to John. Yet Hannah confessed this morning that she did it. Hmm. Of course. It says here that the evidence was processed by the Preston Pentagon. Someone hacked into Preston's government building, creating this false evidence. There is a watermark at the bottom right corner of every piece of it. Therefore, this evidence is void and useless. This is no longer business. This is personal. Somebody is about to be terminated by the Preston government. Mitchell. There is something in this investigation involving me that John and Hannah do not know. Good luck, and figure it out. I know you can do it. Do it for Miranda. I will always be here to support you.